The month of September seems to be following the same path as August as the second trading week ends with negative sentiments due to sustained profit taking by investors. The combined drop in the share prices of Link Assurance and Cadbury as well as 18 other equities forced the market's main index to go further below the 38,000 basis point. And at the close of trading, the market dipped further, this time by a whooping 0.71%. The market summary shows that over 100 154 million units of shares valued at over 2 billion era exchange and in 3,000. 467 deals. This means that the stock market has not recorded a single growth this trading week, although it closed flat on Tuesday with a red. On the gainers counter, Veritas Cap and Ico led 12 others with a combined 6 cover gain, but they had no impact on the market's value. Well, it's not a good time for the Nigerian stocks at the moment, as investor sentiment remains negative as the market awaits a positive trigger to propel another round of buying interest. On the global scene, however, that's our food FTSE, Dow Jones, and the Nikkei. Uh, well, the FTSE ended higher on Friday, but posted its worst weekly performance since mid-August as data showed the pace of domestic economic recovery stalled against the backdrop of a surge in COVID-19 cases. The Dow Jones ended in the red as recorded a 0.057% decline. Japan stocks Nikkei is in the positive, however, that's all on Stock Market Review.